What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Lo. Well, welcome to the first episode of Cloud View, where we take you inside some of our local vape shops, show you the wares, show you what they're doing, and let you meet the owners, kind of get a feel, and hopefully you'll come out, you know, and check them out. In today's episode, we have Virginia Vapes, a shop that opened up in 2014 with a husband and wife duo, doing it really big for the vape community. So we're gonna go inside, check it out, look at it a little bit, meet the owners, and we'll go from there. All right, see you inside. Everybody, we inside Virginia Vapes, and right now we're looking at the juice wall. And there's a lot of good flavors up here that we all know and love. Everything from Space Jam, Cosmic Fog, Craft, Vintage. Uh, there's a lot. The beer, the beer. There's a lot of good flavors up here. A lot that I love. And we also got a very good house blend. Uh, Price really reasonably. Make sure anybody that's new can, when they want to start off a little on the lower end, they definitely can do that. Uh, great selection. Most definitely come by, check it out. I mean, I, I'm all I'm in here all the time. Don't keep going, get it in. Let's look at some other stuff we got here. All right, now we're over here with the hardware. You know, we got us some sub tanks. We got some variable voltage devices over here. Also swinging over here, we got some RDAs over here, we got some mechanical mods, you know, some pretty solid stuff at pretty reasonable prices. Also, we got some of the higher end devices here. Oh yeah, we got some Segeli 150s, some Zeros, some Vapor Flasks, you know, real good stuff, man. Most definitely worth coming to check out. All right, so now we're here with the owners of the shop, and we're going to introduce ourselves to you. Greg Smith and Louise Smith. All right, and they're the fine owners of Virginia Vapes. And we're going to just talk to them, get to know them a little bit. So, what got y'all into vaping? Um, you know, always a desire to quit smoking cigarettes. And uh, one day I was actually walking through the mall, and they had a little kiosk set up, and they had me try one of the little, uh, you know, tiny cigarette size uh, vape pens. Uh, and I bought one, took it home, played around with it a little bit, uh, you know, never got me to quit smoking. Just kind of, you know, did it back and forth between cigarettes. Usually just kind of got fed up with it, put it down, just kept smoking cigarettes. Right, right. Um, you know, and then took it down and showed it to my brother. Uh, and he kind of went further with it looking online, you know, and started getting some of the ego pens. And then I ordered pretty much anything he ordered. And uh, he looked into it a little bit more than me, you know, and uh, upgraded. You know, every time I went down there, he was upgrading from like the little ego pen that we got. He had the one that was in the twist with the variable voltage, you know, so then I got that. And then he was like, oh, you gotta check out this, you know, aero tank, you know, and so then I get that. And then it just kind of kept going from there, you know, and I was still always smoking cigarettes and playing around with all those different setups, but um, really, once I stepped up to like a 15, 20 watt device, you know, Sigeli with like the aero tank on it and found the right flavors after playing with juices forever, you know, I was finally able to give up the cigarettes with it. You know, and then once we gave up the cigarettes uh, for good, you know, just kept getting into other kind of mods and setups, you know, different things, playing around different tanks and uh, different juices, you know, all that stuff. And, and what I was doing, you know, at the time was I was uh, teaching music lessons. Mm -hmm. But that industry kind of seemed like it was fading a little bit more and more because of the technology. And we saw the potential in this industry, you mm -hmm. know, kind of just wanted to switch gears, you know, get into something else that was actually doing maybe a little better. And what I was experiencing at the time with the music lessons. So here we are now. Awesome, awesome. Actually, covered probably my second question. <laughs> oh, I was about to ask one less. So basically, so once you started vaping, well, what point did you until after you take the music? So from that point, that's when you decided to go ahead and you saw the diminishment of that, and that's what made you kind of jump over. So what was some of the filler in the middle that kind of really egged you on? Was that just the, the key motivator? Oh. I think in the industry, we started getting excited about the more he found out about it, the more new equipment he tried and stuff like that, he started getting really excited about it. Mm -hmm. And it's, you know, obviously everybody knows it's a fun, kind of fresh, fast-paced industry, and that appealed to us as well. You know, something kind of new, music lessons weren't going anywhere, like you said, a lot of that stuff is moving to the online forum, and the kids aren't really, you know, 
they don't learn the same way that they used to. So it was more interesting for them to play video games and to play lessons. So he was getting frustrated with that as well. So it was just kind of the right time, the right thing. And then when it worked for him to put smoke in, it, he got really excited about it at that point. Awesome, um, awesome. Kind of wanted to share that with people and one of those things, you know? Oh yeah, look out, look out, good stuff. Well, so tell me this. So now that you've been running a shop for a while, you probably got some very interesting characters in. So. Tell me some of the wild things I heard since y'all been running the shop. Something I had to talk. A lot of people think it's uh, actually tobacco in it, hmm. you know, or I guess that they, you know, that there's still tobacco in it. It's just a different way to vape it or something like that. So it's like a straight leaf in a. Yeah. 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 People don't understand what that is. Okay. There. Yeah. I had one guy that asked me if there were shards of glass. I guess it's a rumor that there were shards of glass in the menthol cigarette, so he wanted to know if it was in the menthol. That we sell. Fair enough. Fair yeah, enough. That's uh, a weird one. It's, a, it's most definitely a learning curve going into the vaping, and you definitely get the crazy ones. So yeah. tell me this. <laughs> so what is the goals of the of Virginia Base? What do you plan on seeing it grow to in the next couple of years? Okay. <laughs> uh, well, we've got a big back area back there. We're actually uh, we've already expanded from when we opened. We've already added more bar space and more retail cabinets and the next thing is going to be we're going to blow our wall back about 10 15 feet and we're going to add a lounge area Ooh. so we'll have a lounge area we'll probably expand the bar we're definitely working on expanding the juice wall juice selections we just got some new juices in yesterday oh, <laughs> as excellent, as excellent. so yeah we're just going to keep growing keep expanding and add more kind of more of a lounge right now it's more retail oriented we want it to become more of a hangout spot too that's awesome that's that's where it is i mean when you spend that space we'll definitely give you a great area for vape meets and cloud exactly. cops which are really big right now in exactly. the community yeah. all right well this is great well let's uh go ahead and get plugged the um, website and the address so people know where to go <laughs> <laughs> yeah, www.virginiavapes.com. All right. And we usually keep our juice menu updated every month, uh, you know, at least once a month or whatever new juices we got. And we get listed on the website, but we're not carrying. We have it pulled down. Uh, and on the expansion thing, too, from the last question, you know, we want to get into the online thing a little more, doing some online sales and some shipping and stuff like that, too. Uh, don't know how far that's going to go, but we're starting to get our toes wet and we'll see where that does go. Sounds like a plan. Well, I really appreciate the interview from both of y'all. This has been Cloud View. I hope y'all learned a little something. And make sure y'all go ahead and check out the site. I'll make sure I put the address up so you can come find us in Northern Virginia. And y'all go ahead and take it easy. <laughs>